Hi everyone, it's me, I'm back and um, with another custom <laughs> order, though I'll be uploading this one after the, um, the customer has received it because she said she didn't want to <clears throat> see it first, she wanted to just receive it and yeah, that's what she wanted to do. Let me move this a little bit. Okay. So we have, of course, another uh, lap book journal with the, with the sidekick, this little purse kind of uh, folio thing. And uh, we are, I'm going to start as usual with the smaller one, which is this one. I used a um, um, 300 gram uh, cardstock sewed on this lace which is see-through lace so you can see the cardstock through it and uh, yes made this really lovely uh, looking purse um, journal I have a brown button here this is some uh, fabric here that I just ripped uh, ripped and sewed on to this part here and put some lace trim now the uh, customer says she likes lace she likes uh, crochet lace and all things dangling all over the place and stuff like that she likes grays and cream and beige and not uh, the uh, strong colors not too pink not too bright but pastel but not too too bright so i hope i accomplish that with this so this is just an extra that i made um and we just have coffee dyed paper you know it's a summertime journal so we've got bees in here we've got birds um butterflies flowers you know the usual summertime things and in this particular one we have just co plain coffee dyed paper i didn't put any pockets or anything like that um because also we have the nice river here uh, because also this lady makes her own journals and I actually left room for her own um, for her own creativity to take over and so I basically started off a journal for her and she's probably going to make it absolutely stunning <coughs> excuse me <coughs> ah, excuse me and so we have this lovely flower here with a butterfly and um and i keep forgetting there's someone who asked uh where i get the i got the images for one of my um journals and i keep forgetting to bring the book to show you and i keep forgetting a lot of things <laughs> so many things to do and so let me go just through this very quickly there's nothing extraordinary to see in here just the beautiful illustrations, some bees. This is the back, so there's room for, you know, pockets here or any flip-flop thing she wants to make. And there's room for some for her to put something there. And uh, so I just started this off for her and she can turn it into something extraordinary. And so we wrap that around like this. And... That's what it looks like. So I used just one piece of 300 gram paper, scored it here, folded over. Well, before folding over, just stitched this on. But I'll have a, um, soon, hopefully, I'll, I'll do a live. I think I'll do a live because I've got so many people asking me questions and stuff like that, how I make these, etc. And uh, I have to share because, because through sharing is how I learned how to do this. To make this journal so i also have to pass it on right and i think i'll do a live and i'll tell you guys what time it might be um even though it's a live and you're not on live but yeah you'll see it later and also while i'm on live you can also ask me questions you know and i can answer them straight away as best i can so this now is the main journal and as i said the customer likes hanging things she likes lace things hanging from everywhere she likes lace and so i've put lace on the spine this is an eight centimeter spine 
and I've put uh, two pieces of uh, two different laces here just sew them onto the spine as you can see I lightly uh, coffee dye them very very lightly to get this almost uh, yeah it's like beige a beige uh, color so I did that there and then this is the the side here so there are a lot of things dangling all over the place lots of lace let me do it this way you can see better maybe so we've got some charms and glass beads and tags that i made and what do we have here butterfly tiny bee and uh, this is the top part as you know this is the journaling uh, section and this is the lap book section on both ends and we have some place all over and this is the bottom where we have more glass beads so i used uh, white <clears throat> and uh, you know faux pearls light pink very light colors nothing too nothing too dark nothing too strong uh, and this is the back here so we have a huge lace pocket here at the back and this lovely lovely fabric which is gray because she also likes gray and I did it was quite a challenge to come up with a summer journal using colors like gray and white and you know and so I hope I have uh, accomplished the summer look as well as um, incorporated all the colors that she loves so without I'm talking too much now um, I couldn't decide on the cover the front cover so I made this I like this as well because it went well with this uh, green here at the back and I put this lovely huge butterfly here but at the same time this can be removed and you can be left with this so at first I put this and I said eh, I don't know maybe I should put something different make a different cover then I said rather than do that you can have two covers because this just comes uh, over here like this and then you have like almost another journal and that just is removed like that and it's just flap some room here for again creativity this is a closer look at the butterfly I have a nice flower shaped eyelet put some lace here and this is again uh, painted on with the PVA watered down PVA glue and it's sealed so nothing can really happen to this here and this is a, an image from Calico Collage. I don't know which kit, but it's from one of uh, Calico, Calico Collage's kits. Okay, so this is fabric. Some lovely roses, some really uh, subtle, cool colors here. But still summerish. And then this, of course, opens up like that. And I put this lace. Uh, it is um, light green. And I used um, my uh, Epson ink to dye this crochet lace because it was just pure white. Then we have a pocket here and we have another pocket in here as well. And of course I left this plane here. This can, they can, she can put another pocket here or just leave it as is or do whatever. And then this opens up like that. And here we have a it's a it's it's a tag in the shape of a tag but it's not a tag it's actually glued down here but we have this uh, pocket that I made with uh, tracing paper I don't know whether vellum or tracing paper is the same thing but I just know this as tracing paper so I just sewed it on to here and I have these playing cards with the birds <clears throat> with a bird and um, I think this is a herb if I'm not mistaken and so that goes in there you can see through love the I love the colors this is a digital from teal and tattered and this is a beautiful beautiful um, illustration from a book again there's roses at the back and this can be used for a um, journal card or just left as is and this is nice old lace that I 
I keep repeating. I've used this quite several times, and this is from I got on eBay from an old lady who's retired from sewing, etc. So I got this from her, and so and we have also this lovely fabric here at the back as well. And we close it like this and like this, and then we open. We go into the main part of the journal here. And here we have um, a journal card that I made. So it goes into this pocket. It's just a shallow pocket. And also there's a pocket here with some digis from the kit. And this is just a longish um, um, journaling card. And also here I, I put this, there's a pocket here and this is just lace that I stuck down on here just to you know make it a little more prettier and that goes in there and I've done some sewing in here as you can see I've just sewn around here ah and also here I did put uh, this uh, lightly coffee dyed lace trim on the side here and that makes it let me lift it up and that makes it look really really beautiful and then we open this up like that we have one of these uh, pouches here um, which you of course open and we've got stuff in here these are also from different kits i didn't get a chance to use them inside so i just uh, included them in this um, in this pouch and this i love this it doesn't really show here but it's a it's a greenish uh, grayish color very subtle nothing too strong nothing too overwhelming and that goes then of course i put this uh, coffee dyed lace trim here and then move this more on that side we open this here and we just have this pocket here and we have a pocket here on the side for a for a large tag that goes in here and uh what is this yeah this does come out too <laughs> and it's just a journaling card and i use a lot of craft paper in here it's really i like it nice and sturdy stays firm and I put this sewed on this lace trim. So there's a pocket at the top here. And put it back carefully. And then <clears throat> here we have this again that you open. So it opens up, opens down. And I just put some... This is old, an old music sheet from an old music book. And this is Edith Holden here. And a lovely, lovely strange illustrations from the book again, the plant book. And this is just, I don't know, I just left it like that. And, and again, you can see the eyelets are shaped like flowers. And then we go here. So this is June. There's a little something about June here. And it flips up and the rest of it is back here. As you can see. And then we have this envelope that flips out like that. With something inside here. Two journaling cards. And there's a little pocket facing that way with another journaling card. And, and this is of course another large pocket here on the side and then we close this oh and also sorry this is a pocket as well with some again some playing cards birds and more journaling cards that stays in here okay and then of course we open it like this and we have another large document holder here with, we have a pocket here and we have a pocket here and we have a pocket here in the front as well 
I just fussy cut out some flowers and stuck them in here. And this is a nice digital as well with lace. So sometimes you can use these because if you use real lace, then the pages become too thick, too bulky, and then you can't put so much in. So sometimes it's okay to use um, digital digitals that have lace on them. And this is just something from a digital that I put here. And I've just stuck it in there. And then again, we go on this side here. This is another one that you open up like this, flip up, room for something to happen here. And we have a card that I put in here through this window envelope, just a journaling card. And I really like this because it looks like um, with the stitching, I don't know whether it shows here, but when you stitch it, it looks like leather. It gives that leather look, and I really like that. And then we have another pocket here on the side, and I'll put in this quite large book page. And it's really pretty. And that goes in here. Okay. And then we close it. Okay, so this is the front part. So it, you open it like that. You open it like that. You open these flaps. You have a pocket here. You can open this flap. Take out, uh, um, open the envelope. There's a pocket here. And there's a pocket here as well. Close that. And then this opens and you have these extra uh, large large pockets here that close with the closures so that's that part of the journal then we come to the part of the lap book rather then we come to the journal part and we have this lovely old uh, crocheted lace of course it's supposed to be for a collar you know a dress and again it's from the same old lady on ebay and I love these digitals. The colors are, are absolutely fantastic. And we have this flower charm. And as usual, we have the coffee dyed paper, tea dyed paper. We have a <clears throat> lovely tag here from the kit. And I just sewed on again some lace and just put lace on this button. On this, uh, what am I saying? Paper clip. Goodness. And this is a book page from a very old poem book. Copy that paper, writing paper, music. Lots of space to journal. And this is again ducks. And again, beautiful, beautiful digitals. And some lace here on the side right down the page and some glass beads okay, and with the ducks I have to hurry up because I'm using light as well how long is it running for? 18 minutes already, good lord um, it's going to take ages to upload music paper again from the poem book so it's tea dyed paper. Now some more lace here on the side. Beautiful digital. I hope the customer is happy. I think I I think I I think she will be. And here we have a little butterfly charm. More illustrations from my book. And this is just a, an envelope that I received and just added it here. Cut it up and made a page. I like it. I just love the way it feels. <laughs> uh, people who love paper, people who play with paper will understand what I'm talking about. And here we have um, a book page and we have, I should always have something to show you the pockets. Where is it here? So we have a pocket here. And 
and this lovely old lace again I got this from a curtain lace curtain and this uh, we made as well it's a charm it's like a tag more beautiful digit digitals <coughs> And here's another pocket again here. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies. Oh. Writing space. Lots of writing space. And I love this green on top of this white crocheted lace. And again, we have one of those tag charms. And a bee. And the paper again. Beautiful. And this is a heart. It's in the shape of a heart. This is a crocheted lace. Right there at the bottom of the page. And this is... I love this. This is beautiful. I love the color. Um, I, I'd call it... What is... I think it's... Yeah, it's beige, you know? It's that beigey color. And look at this. I love the pink and the glass, see-through glass, transparent glass, and the green here. It looks really beautiful together. Lovely. Old uh, book page. Just some lace and fabric. Just a fabric pin hanging around, hanging out on that page all along. And more digitals. I love these digitals. I've always wanted to buy these. An old encyclopedia page. This is from Taylor Made Journal. Um, digital coffee dyed paper. Now this one is homemade. And this has uh, three signatures. And um, yeah. Music paper, another lovely uh, tag with a tiny B and this clip. Lovely lace, just a green button. Oh, it's on the next page. Oh, this is just a small tag here. It says handmade with love. And it really, really, really was. Um, here's a button. And then that's the end of the journaling part. And I said when you want to write in your journal, you have to open this part so that this lies flat. And it does lie flat because of the, the nature of the spine. So now I love this. Um, these two pockets here. To just open up like this. And as I said, I really, <laughs> I used a, a lot of craft paper here. It's sturdy and wonderful. And also behind here, you have a, uh, a slim pocket right at the back here. And then this opens up like that. And we have um, one of these um, pouches here that you open up like that. And then we have an Edith Holden page here, August, summertime, and just a fussy cut out flower. And this is a, uh, it was a postcard that I found at a, a thrift shop. And there's the water here and there's a bench here. So you can imagine sitting here during summer. And I love that it was this uh, color, you know, black and white. It goes well with this. And yeah, so here's the pocket again, another nice deep pocket and this beautiful lace trim here. And this goes back like that. Just one time and then we have a window envelope here with of course, a, oops, a journaling card, large one. Steps back in there and we have this little cute um, pouch here at the bottom and I'll show you how to make these they're very easy <clears throat> not complicated at all I have that there 
and then we have this lace at the bottom here and then this flips upwards uh, to reveal this large uh, see-through pocket here it's got a window here i just laminated paper in um, used it to to make this uh, window envelope a uh, window pocket and that goes back in there and these are just some faux leaves that i stitched on here they're really look nice and lush and they <clears throat> they match these leaves here i didn't notice until after i made the tag so what a coincidence and this just says take time to stop and smell the flowers and then here at the bottom we have some uh, <clears throat> they're birthday cards but they're old vintage uh, birthday cards they are nice i chose them because of the colors the flowers and um this is by water's edge as well and just fussy cut out flower this is a lace pocket here <clears throat> and this opens or flips down just to reveal this edith holland page with the b and here is room for some creativity by the owner by the customer and um then we open <clears throat> this uh, part up it flips up and we have these um tr a tracing paper pockets with a large large butterfly here and a smaller one in there which i cannot get i think we just have to stay there forever um, i dropped it in there by mistake so there's this butterfly here and we have all these lovely fussy cut out flowers in this front pocket here. And it's see-through so you're able to see what's in the pocket. <clears throat> and then here at the bottom we have just a page that you flip open and there's another uh, tracing paper um, pocket here as well. So nothing is hidden, you can still see the beauty of this page. When you remove the flower and the, that just goes back in there and then this opens up like this and we have little pockets here and here these are pockets from the kit and we have another pocket here with a fairy i love my little fairy cards and just a fussy cut out flower and this is one of the craft <clears throat> craft paper pages that I just kept because I love the brown. She also likes brown. And that's it. So this closes like that. This closes like that. And you have this flap that opens up like this. And I'm just showing you so that in case anyone wants to uh, recreate this look. But don't worry, guys. We'll be doing a <clears throat> I'll be doing a live video and we'll craft together and you can ask me your questions etc and we shall yeah we shall get it done so that's the that's that and the light is gone and i must end this video but i can't end it without thanking each and everyone who has subscribed each and everyone who watches each and every one of your comments i'm still trying to i'm in the process of answering all of them and um I, which I will. I promise I'll do that because I'm so grateful because without you, um, <clears throat> you are the ones who inspire us to to do these things. You make us um, ha happy. <laughs> and I'd like to make you guys happy. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time. Thank you and bye.